Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. My name is Kaylee and I'm an INFJ 9 wing 1. So first of all, I want to say thank you so much. Um, this last week we hit 1000 subscribers and I just appreciate it so much. I've had the pleasure to meet a bunch of you through Zoom and talk with you guys and get to know you a little bit and I love reading your all's comments and your support is just very heartwarming to me so I really appreciate it. I very much look forward to interacting with you guys and making videos for you all. So before you go, if you aren't subscribed already, I hope you will join the family and um, continue to see some more videos that are about to be posted. Today we are going to talk about jobs for every type. Um, this was requested on the video I made about hobbies for every type and so I put a lot of time um, writing down a bunch of different jobs for a bunch of different types. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna throw in a little bonus of jobs I think might be kind of the worst job or the worst kind of position for every type. Make sure you leave a comment below of your Enneagram type, the career you either have or you dream of having, and the job you would never want. Okay, for each type, the different jobs are all similar in a few ways. So for the type ones, all the jobs are going to be a type of position that would appeal to a type one. So they're all very different jobs, but they might be appealing for the same reasons. And some of these jobs repeat themselves. So I might say the same job for a type five that I say for an eight or, you know, okay, so, Let's get into it. I'll read what I have for the type one and then maybe explain a couple of them, the reasons why I picked them. So for type one, I have air traffic control, law enforcement, teaching, contracting, being an inspector, accounting, um, working in like a drug recovery clinic and classical ballet. So, um, a lot of these things, they're very different. I mean, being an air traffic controller is very different than, you know, being a ballet teacher or a performer, but there is a similar core of structure. There's a right way to do this. There's a wrong way to do it. It is taught, it is learned, and it has to be enforced. Okay. So with law enforcement, teaching, contracting, inspecting, accounting, all of these things follow a guideline. There's a one can use their skills in these types of jobs. Next is type two. <clears throat> type two, I have again teaching, um, working with elderly, working with preschoolers, being a CNA, a certified nurse's assistant, an esthetician, a server at a restaurant, hospitality, anything hospitality industry, pretty much. Maybe not management, that might not be their cup of tea, but something like that. Um, and wedding planner. So these are all different jobs as well, but it's similar of working with other people, feeling like you're connected to other people with your job and that your work matters and it matters to other people. For type three, I have entrepreneur. Um, that's a very large umbrella. Pretty much if you can be your own boss, you very well could enjoy it. Um, something like owning your own boutique or um, being a personal trainer, um, a principal at a school, real estate agent, a lawyer, working in management, maybe being a stockbroker, something like that. Something where you can work your way up pretty much always, where you can always continue to grow in your field. The threes do not like to feel stuck in their job, stuck in their position, and to feel just like ashamed of their job. They don't want a job that sounds kind of embarrassing. Like your career is a high schooler's job. So something where it sounds impressive and you can make your own hours a little bit, it's a little more flexible, um, and also that you can move up and you could always have the option to do more or maybe do a little bit less. Next is type four. For type four, I have small business owner, social worker, a missionary, 
a college professor, hairstylist, tattoo artist, a animal groomer, working at an animal shelter, managing an art exhibit where you might own the building that always have different art pieces cycling through, and then very stereotypical, I would say, pretty much anything in the arts. So dance, um, photography, videography, set design for different TV shows that might be filming near you, um, and then modeling, acting, and maybe pursuing your dream of acting through Broadway. Um, these are some more things that I would think would be more leaning towards force. So there's a lot of very, um, <laughs> very doable jobs and then a lot more like dreamy jobs that you can't really apply for and just get necessarily. But there are some that you could. So being like a hairstylist or a tattoo artist, um, that is one way that I think a lot of force could use a lot of their skills and really enjoy themselves and do things, um, not have the same nine to five, not have a very repetitive, um, just dreary job. So something where they feel inspired by their work and their work is inspired by them. So something like that is, you know, something I would recommend for a four and, you know, something like a social worker or a missionary. I think something like that could be really enjoyable for a four because fours really want to feel like what they're doing matters. Um, all of us do, <laughs> but fours really have this drive and this desire to not feel like they're just like wasting their life away. Um, they're the fours that I've interacted with really feel a lot of value from the work that they do and they want to put effort into something that is rewarding. Next is five. Okay, again, we have an inspector, a college professor, a doctor, engineer, lawyer, um, code enforcement or law enforcement. Again, any trade jobs, uh, mechanics or game design, something like that. Um, oh, also an IT guy. So something where you might be working a little bit more by yourself and you're a little bit more independent in your work kind of like the four, um, a little bit more independent in your work, but also something where it can be your specialty. Um, you can be perfect at this job. So if you are a college professor, maybe you've spent a ton of time investing in different sciences or English, different programs, and now you can teach it and make sure that other people are learning it the way it ought to be learned, similar to a one, but the five is very specific that they they are the best in their field and now they can share that although if i might not ever feel like they're the best they can have some of the most qualifications they might be the most qualified person to be in the field that they're working in okay next for type six i have farming trade jobs K through 12 teaching, more of the younger students teaching, um, not as much as a professor, but more like um, you have more of a connection with your students while you're teaching them. Um, construction, um, IT guy, banking, nursing, being a physician's assistant, human resources, being a social worker, um, uh, being a barber, working in hospice, uh, working as a receptionist. So some of these things, it's kind of like a mix, honestly, between the jobs for a two and the jobs for a five. Um, and I think it really depends. The six wing fives and the six wing sevens is where you're going to see that big differentiation of a six wing five is probably going to go for a little bit more of these intellectual jobs, a little more of these physically demanding jobs like construction or mentally demanding like being an IT guy. Whereas a six wing seven might pick something like being a school teacher or working as a nurse or in hospice, something where they know that they're making a difference, their position matters and you know, they have a good routine. Sixes are a lot better with routine and they do a lot better with a nine to five than most of the other types do. Also sixes are a little bit more content in the position that they're at and they're not necessarily like the three and that they have the desire to become the highest ranking member of the job. So sixes are 
good with something like nursing, social work, um, trade jobs, something where they have some camaraderie with their other employees. They're not just working by themselves, but they're working with other people. Next is type seven. Type seven, again, I have professor. Um, sevens are great with public speaking most of the time and they're good with information. So if you're a type seven, you might find that you really enjoy a topic and you might be able to present it to other people very passionately and a very entertaining way. Um, next is jobs with travel. That's very broad. That's not a very specific job, but you might not really enjoy your job very much, but you might enjoy the benefits or the perks. Something like a flight attendant where the pressure isn't all on you to do this job, but more of making people relaxed and comfortable as you know, you're, you're still getting a lot of perks and benefits from your job. Working in sales, also being an entrepreneur, making your own job and working for yourself. Digital media, public speaking roles, something that requires you to be on a stage in front of people. You're very entertaining and you're good at relaying information for other people in a concise way. Um, real estate, personal training, musician, comedian, or nannying. Um, also acting or modeling. I would see these as jobs that would be good for type sevens. Um, they're a little bit more flexible. They get to use their charm and their people skills. They don't necessarily need to connect deeply with people and know that they're like really helping these people and I feel a huge sense of self worth from my job, but more of um, my job is another medium for me to enjoy life and experience life. But you're also um, working alongside other people, so you're not by yourself, not just trapped, locked away in a boring office doing the same thing over and over again. Something where it's kind of different every day. Okay, eight, type eight. Um, I have personal trainer, trade jobs, mechanics, CNA, a lawyer, um, animal shelter, construction, anything where you can set your own hours. So entrepreneurial things. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. And these last three. So these last three are pretty much as stereotypically type eight as like the all of the arts that I mentioned for type four. So <laughs> the jobs that I have stereotypically for type eight would be Okay, I don't know if this is the right name for the job, but there was a show on like, I don't know, TLC or something that the whole show was focused around this person doing this job and it's like impounding. So people haven't been paying for their cars. You have to go and take it back from them. Like that kind of job where people are abusing the system and you have to step in and fix it. Someone that does repurposing, like a, a loan shark, something like that. Um, so the next one is working in like HR type of a position, but it's medical claim dispute. That is a real job. People get paid a lot of money when they hire somebody to dispute medical claims. Okay, and the last ones I have is working as a security guard or prison guard. You know, I'm not sure if I know any eights who would turn down the opportunity to work on the show, you know, Scared Straight, where the prison guards are yelling at these kids to fix their lives to not end up like all the people in prison. So working as like a prison guard or um, a security guard. Um, um, also working as a life coach. Those are very similar yet very different of just trying to help people get their lives straightened out. One, because you want to help them and help people that just don't understand. And two, because you can, you can do it. Not a lot of other people can straighten out other people. Um, a type one would probably be the closest uh, I could think of, of somebody who would be willing to tell you what's what, but an eight does it in a very different way. And those are my very stereotypical type eight jobs. Um, but there's also like being a personal trainer or a trade job, like being an electrician or a plumber. 
uh, being a CNA, working with people and using your physical body to help other people. So like a mechanic, something like that. We're working at an animal shelter where you know you are helping and protecting the truly innocent because animals can't commit crimes. Animals can't be evil or corrupt. So um, something like that. And last but not least is type nine. So for type nine, I have sales. Um, a lot of these jobs are similar to sixes and fours because there's a lot of working with other people, also kind of doing your own thing. Nannying, being a nurse, being a physical therapist or a therapist, a counselor, a life coach, a writer or a journalist working for a news station, a truck driver, um, landscaping, wedding planner, dental assistant, a school teacher, a receptionist, an actor, um, and maybe somebody who works at like an AA meeting, one of the leaders for that, a life group leader, something like that. So for these jobs, it's a lot more connecting with one person one-on-one. -on -one. Um, nines are pretty good with connecting with people, but also not necessarily being weighed down by other people's Mm, hardships so being a counselor or a therapist you can listen to the struggles but not necessarily take them on as your own um, being a wedding planner nines are good with kind of being visionaries but also not taking control from another person the same with twos landscaping or working in a greenhouse or a farm where you can see things growing life is happening or um, being a receptionist or um something like that those are the list of jobs that i made for every type i hope that they were somewhat accurate i think that a lot of them were somewhat accurate and that a lot of them were based just off of different jobs i know that people that are these types have and that they have enjoyed um or just some things that i can see a lot of skills or qualities from a specific type would go into. Um, okay, and then I told you I would share my list of never ever jobs for every type. Um, this one was really difficult. In the comments below, tell me your type, the career either you have or you dream of having, and then the worst job you could think of. So for type one, I put it's not necessarily great, but I put like advertising and marketing um, and being under a boss who's very critical. So something where you maybe are going out of your comfort zone a little bit to market to other people and then also having a boss who's telling you that you're doing it wrong. Um, type two is some of the jobs that I picked for type eight actually. Um, so like being a loan shark or to um, work as a security guard or something that could be very difficult for a type two because they have to go against their nature a little bit and maybe um, make some people upset with them. Type three, something like being a janitor at a job where they're not ever going to get out of that position. They're not really noticed by anyone and they're doing some tedious work. <laughs> Type four might be one of the strangest that I put on this list, but like a mass farm, just like a large animal production farm, like wherever McDonald's is getting their chickens from, where they're always having a turnover of their growing all of these animals just to slaughter them. Um, I think that might be one of the worst jobs for type four. Um, type five is something like a group therapist, something where they're going to have to also share their experiences and their feelings with a bunch of other people to provoke them to share their feelings. Um, type six is working as maybe like a stockbroker or maybe making your money through gambling and betting on horses, something like that. Type seven is working as like an accountant somewhere where you're locked in a closet all day doing paperwork. You're not gonna enjoy that. Um, type eight 
most nine to five jobs where you have an annoying boss who is just an idiot and can't manage anything um, and you're, you, you're stuck listening to him. And type nine is something like being a lawyer or a prosecutor where you have to ignore all the gray area and you can see how much it might affect their life. So I'm not sure if those are really great never ever jobs. I know there's probably a lot more, but that is the list that I was able to come up with. Maybe this, maybe making YouTube videos should be my never ever job, but here I am. So that is pretty much all I have for you guys today. I hope you will like and subscribe and um, leave a comment below again of your type the job that you either have or you would dream of having and your never ever job. All right, I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye.